When working with Notion databases, sometimes you might want to import a CSV file or merge your existing Notion database with a CSV file. And recently, Notion unlocked the ability to auto-populate relation properties when merging a database with a CSV or importing a CSV or related data to Notion. In this video, we are exactly exploring this use case by analyzing a real-life scenario of importing data from a fake CSV of a CRM with contacts and companies while maintaining the relation between these two entities or databases in Notion. There are three main ways to import a CSV file into Notion. The first way is by clicking on import at the bottom of the left sidebar menu. And when you click on import, you will see the CSV option right here together with other options. And when you choose CSV, you can then select your file the second option to import a CSV file into Notion is by creating a new empty page, just like this one, and then selecting import. And when you import, you will be redirected essentially to the same exact page that we just saw, where you can select the CSV file type. And finally, you can also merge a CSV with an existing database in Notion. So in this case, if I had a database here, for example, so let's call it a new database. And you will see whenever there is a database, there are three dots at the top right corner. And if I click on those three dots, one of the options is merge with CSV. And it says, make sure that the header row is there in your CSV. And ideally, if the database in Notion is something that you've been using, the headers of the database correspond with the headers of your CSV as much as possible so that Notion can recognize the different data points to insert and where to insert them correctly. For the sake of this video, we are using CSV files for organizations, which looks just like this with a list of 100 organizations. These are fake data that I downloaded from the internet. And we are also going to use a CSV of contacts. Again, fake contacts. And you can see that one of the columns in this contacts CSV is company because each contact is related to one company, just like that. And these companies are coming from the company's CSV here. So for the demo, we will upload the CSV files as separate databases in Notion while maintaining the relations between organizations and contacts. Let's begin with the import process. We are importing two databases from CSV files. One is contacts and one is organizations. And contacts are related to organizations and vice versa. In the CSV file, you will see, as I showed you earlier, the company column contains names of companies from the organization's CSV that we want to use and relate automatically in the import process. So let's go to Notion and I will create an empty page. I'm going to import and first, let's select CSV. I will import the organization's CSV first. And that is because I know that in the contacts CSV, there is a column displaying the name of the related organization. And when I do the import, I want that column to be populated automatically through a relation property. And to achieve that, I need to have the companies already in Notion as a database so that the name of that company can be recognized in my database. So here we have it. As you can see, Notion used the organization ID as the primary key, which in the CSV is the second column. In this case, however, to make the automatic relation population import work, we need to have the name as the primary key in Notion. And that is because in the contact CSV, we are using the company name as the data point. And so Notion will recognize this data if it's the primary key in Notion. If we used the organization ID, then the way the Notion database is structured with the primary key being the organization ID would be okay. But in this case, to make this work, we will need to make the name the primary key. There is no way to turn a property into a primary key. So we will need to do a manual copy paste quickly of all this data into the organization ID primary key. So that's a bit of data transformation. And let's assume for this example that we do not need the organization ID, so we can just override the data via the copy paste. Otherwise, we could have created an additional column here called organization ID. Keep it empty for now. Do the copy paste of the organization ID into that property and then do a copy paste of all the names into the organization ID primary key. So for this example, let's keep it simple. Let's assume we do not need the organization ID and I'm going to select all the data in the organization database and paste it just like that. And we can delete this property. Let's also delete the index. All right, so we have all the organizations right there populated. And the second stage is to create a database, in this case, for contacts. And this database will have a relation property called company which is the same name that we're using here. 
So I'm just going to copy this to make sure it is properly typed. The type of property will be relation and the link will be to organizations 100. Let's show this relation on the contacts on the organizations database as well. And we're going to add relation. Okay, there you go. We have this property and let's try to merge this with a CSV file and see if it works as expected. So we're going to merge with CSV. This time we will upload the 50 contacts, give it a bit of time and see if the relation property is populated. And it is. You can see there are 50 contacts. Each contact has a company. Some contacts do not have any company. And let's troubleshoot why that might be the case. So for example, for Roxanne, there is no company. And if we look at the CSP, I can see here Roxanne has a comma separated value. And that might be the reason why this didn't work. Because it looks like these are multiple companies for one contact. And because there is a comma, Notion did not recognize that. And that is why it didn't populate the company property automatically for this contact, as well as the other ones that are empty. So in this case, the best thing to do is to do this manually. Maybe I can do a filter with company is empty just to isolate those people. I can see 15 people and then I can search through the CSV file to see the companies or company associated with each of these people and relate it manually here. If it's multiple companies, I can just do this and that will disappear and do the same for all the other contacts in this database. And that is it for now. Keep in mind that there is a limit of the first 1000 entries for the automatic relation to be populated from a CSV import in Notion currently, and that is due to performance optimization reasons. And finally, you can find a link in the description to a written essay on the topic of CSV imports, also including FAQs, edge cases, and any additional limitations that you might need to know when manipulating data in the extract load transform process of data analysis within Notion with the CSV. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. For any feedback, drop a comment below and see you in the next one.